Hi, and welcome to the Christian Church's online sermon. Revelations got through talking about the seven spirits and the seven churches. Let's take a look at those churches and see what God expects of His people, the ones that are teaching His way testing and repentance. And Revelations 2.11 says, He who overcomes will not be hurt by the second death. Briefly, everyone's going to get a chance, almost, and uh, those that don't live up to it be the second death. How he's talking about now. Then, to the angel of the church of Ephesus, I know your deeds and your toil and your perseverance, that you cannot tolerate evil. You put to the test who call themselves apostles, are not. And you have perseverance and have endured for his namesake. But I have this against you, where you have fallen, and you did nothing until God got to him. And the Spirit says to the church, to him who overcomes that evil of the tree of life, which is the paradise of God. The second of the seven, Smyrna, Revelation 2.10. Do not fear what you are about to suffer, Smyrna. Behold, the devil is about to cast some of you into prison, that you will be tested and you will have tribulation for ten days. Behold the devil is about uh, and you have to be fruitful unto death and God will give him them the crown of life. Pergamon Revelations 2.13 I know where you dwell where Satan's throne is and you hold fast my name and did deny my faith even in the days of Antipas, my witness, my faithful one, who was killed among you where Satan dwells. And these are the evil ones, Balaam, Balak, sacrifice idol, hidden uh, acts of immorality, repent, he who overcomes hidden manna, he who comes gets the hidden manna and a new name written in stone. Repent. Don't let these things keep you from God. Thrice here. Revelations 2.18 I know your deeds and your love and faith and service and perseverance and that your deeds of late are greater than at first. But some have tolerated Jezebel and sancti sacrificed idols. Others do not. Hold fast and overcome. Receive authority over nations and rule with the rod of iron from his authority through Jesus. The promises from testing and repentance. Sardis, I know your deeds, that you have a name, that you are alive, but you're dead. Wake up. Strengthen the things that remain, which are about to die. For I have not found your deeds completed in the sight of my God. Deeds not completed? A few overcome and walk with Jesus, and he will confess his name and the book of life. Each of the blessings for overcoming the problems and being tested give them something special. The most special, in many ways, is Philadelphia. Yes. I know your deeds. Behold, I can put before you an open door which no one can shut, because you have little power and have kept my word and have not denied my name. Little power and great position. Uh, those in the synagogue of Satan will bow down before him. 
before you because <clears throat> you kept his word. No testing. Hold fast. Become a pillar in God's temple. Bear God's new name. Laodicea, Revelation 3, uh, 3.14. I know your deeds, that you are neither hot or cold. I wish you were cold or hot. So because you are lukewarm and neither hot nor cold, spit you out of my mouth. Unaware, lukewarm. Buy gold from him. Give him a chance to repent. He overcomes will with him on the throne as Jesus sits with God. Listen to what the Spirit says. He who has an ear, let him what? Let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Overcome your weaknesses and your testing, and God will give them eternal life and other blessings not as great. Amen. And thank you for watching and listening.